It's a stunt that has a lot of folks saying you gotta be kidding. A New Haven man spotted in a movie theater with a gun in his waistband. Good evening everybody, I'm Keith Coons. Darren Kramer has this night off. And it happened in, of all places, a showing of the new Batman movie. I'm Sonia Bagdaddy. Thanks for joining us tonight. Of course, that's the same movie where a gunman killed 12 and injured 58 last month in Colorado. News 8's Aaron Logan joins us live with more about the New Haven man who was arrested last night. Aaron? Sonia, this man is the president-elect of the New Haven Bar Association. In fact, I'm standing outside 46-year-old Sung Huang's law office in New Haven. He says he did nothing wrong. He has a license to carry, but police say he didn't cooperate. He just held a press conference explaining his side of the story, and he says the bottom line, he just doesn't feel safe in New Haven. Why is New Haven so unsafe? Why do law-abiding citizens feel that they need to carry a weapon. That's attorney Sung Huang's main reason for carrying a loaded gun inside last night's showing of The Dark Knight at Criterion Cinemas in downtown New Haven. I live in downtown New Haven, and this movie was getting out at 1 a.m., so I felt that I should protect myself since I was alone. But given the sensitivity of the tragedy in Colorado last month, where 12 people were shot and 58 injured in The Dark Knight movie, Many people have serious concerns and question what he did. It's I'm so upsetting to me. I, it's just all I think about is that and how that happened. Clearly uh, just was an unfortunate mistake and a sensitive time. I think that movie certainly, uh, you know, makes it, you know, more... Uh, apt for people to react in a way they reacted. People noticed Tuang's handgun inside his waistband. Police say he was arrested not because he had the gun, he has a license to carry, but because they claim he stayed in his seat on his cell phone and didn't comply. You're saying you did cooperate. He cooperated. Anything the police wanted, he did it. He did everything he was supposed to do. And so, you know, from our perspective, we're not sure what the basis is for a charge of interfering or breach of peace for that matter. Now, you heard us try to talk to Huang. His lawyer would not let him talk, uh, him talk to us. He did say in his statement that he prepared that there is no sign outside Criterion that you can't carry weapons. He will be in court on August 15th. For now, we're live in New Haven. Aaron Logan, News 8. New Haven Mayor John DeStefano speaking out in the wake of that arrest. At a news conference late this afternoon, the mayor said that this might be a good time to re-examine some laws, especially when it comes to guns. Just because something is legal doesn't make it right. And I think that's the issue we've got to examine about permissibility of some laws. And oftentimes these involve matters of judgment, don't they?